Some 1300 years ago, in the time of King Tut, Egyptians were already baking 40 varieties of leavened bread. The Greeks' contribution to this history was the oven and 70 varieties of flavored breads. Breads so good that the Romans took the Greek bakers to Rome and their ovens to Gaul. This is how, by the Middle Ages, bread had become the primary food of Western Europe. Multigrain bread is made from several ingredients, such as flaxseed, buckwheat, soya, and millet. This protective grill prevents foreign matter from accidentally falling into the recipe mix, a recipe calling for some 600 kilos of flour. The ingredients, ground in a mill, are kept in these 36 enormous containers. We begin by mixing the ingredients together. These kneading troughs are used to ferment the yeast, a step which takes three hours. The fermenting yeast makes the dough rise considerably. This huge mixer kneads the dough for about eight minutes. When thoroughly homogenous, the content is emptied into a large tub. The dough weighs a thousand kilos. That's almost a ton. The dough is loaded onto a slide situated above the dough divider. At the bottom of the machine, a small hole allows the dough to escape. Two mechanically operated arms cut the dough pieces into equal lengths. It forms 192 of these a minute. The dough then falls onto a conveyor. Here, dough pieces are rolled into balls, which can be more easily worked. The dough balls are floured to prevent them from sticking during their transport and when they're molded. Here the balls of dough leave the divider and go to the molder. During transport, the dough can rest, allowing the yeast to act. The dough is then folded and rolled. The machine can handle three per second for a total of 11,500 an hour. The dough is rolled out to the exact size and falls into baking molds. Here we see the making of hot dog rolls. These little dough balls have to be shaped lengthwise and fermented before molding. Here the hot dog rolls are being machine molded. Dough pieces must not touch one another, so they're spaced apart by a small mechanical arm. Now we go back to multi-grain bread production. Squatted down at the bottom of the molds, the dough pieces go into the prover, where they rise for an hour at 42 degrees centigrade and at 70% humidity. Then they bake for 20 minutes at 255 degrees. When finally baked, the loaves end up with a nice golden color. A vacuum system draws the loaves from their molds. They're then placed on a conveyor to cool. A guidance system takes care of carrying the breads to various sections of the bakery. When well cooled, breads go to the slicer, which cuts 65 loaves a minute. They are sliced by 2 meter wide and 40 centimeter long steel saw blades. These blades are changed every two weeks. Sliced loaves are automatically packed at 65 per minute. They're now ready for shipping. 
some five and a half hours have passed between preparation of the dry flour and packaging of the baked bread. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. I hope what we've shown you today speaks for itself. Our goal is to give you a view of the many manufacturing methods that produce the items we see in our everyday lives. I'm Mark Tewksbury. See you next time on How It's Made. Thank <laughs> you.